Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's quest to have all Canadians stranded in cold weather in a green car of their own, well, it means more strip mining. 388 more strip mines globally, to be precise. Looks like we're going to need another generation of Congolese child slaves to keep up with all of Justin Trudeau's constant virtue signaling. Conservative, liberal and NDP are calling for him to take the tax off so Canadians will keep the heat on. Will he be fair to all Canadians or will he sign on with the separatists to divide our country some more? Yes. The fact of the matter is, Mr. Speaker, Canadians are afraid of climate change. They're afraid of the extreme weather events. They're afraid of the concerns we have about a brighter future. And what we are doing is fighting climate change every day while we build a stronger economy with greater careers, while we support Canadians every single day with the high cost of living. This is what we're delivering. He has no plan to fight climate change, no plan for the future of the economy, no plan for Canadians. Justin Trudeau says that Canadians are just so, so scared of climate change, so scared that we need to pay an escalating carbon tax that makes everything we buy, move, heat, eat, cool or turn on more expensive and so scared that we need to buy vehicles that are completely unreliable in a country as cold or as vast as Canada. And if we're not going to do it on our own, the government is going to do it to us. Because, of course, when you're choosing between heat or eat poverty in Justin Trudeau's inflationary crisis, you definitely have a pile of leftover money to buy a new car to meet Trudeau's arbitrary climate targets. Trudeau has announced a plan to make the entire fleet of Canadian automobiles, personal, commercial and governmental, net zero by 2035, and for the national fleet to achieve 60% net zero by 2030. That's just six years away. It was first announced by the previous Transportation Minister, Omar Al-Jabra, and is now continuing to be pressed forward by the current Transportation Minister, Pablo Rodriguez. Just look at this. It's from the government press release, December 2022 just a year ago. Achieving Canada's goal of net zero emissions by 2050 requires ensuring that all new light duty vehicles sold are ZEV, so that's zero emissions vehicles, by 2035. Given the average age of a vehicle is 15 years, putting in place a 100% ZEV sales target by 2035 will help end the use of these polluting vehicles by 2050. Oh, those are the polluting vehicles. Okay, but how many kids are we going to enslave in the Congo or poison in China to meet these goals? Sounds like we're going to need a lot more of them. Look at this. A new study released by the Fraser Institute finds that in order to meet international government mandates, a total of 388 new mines must be built to produce the metals required for electric vehicle production. Children, by and large, work in these African cobalt mines for 75 cents a day. If they're lucky, maybe they get up to a buck fifty. And if they're really lucky, they aren't catastrophically injured or killed by the dangerous working conditions inside the mines. Oh, but they will definitely have long-lasting effects from the toxicity. In fact, there's a lawsuit before the courts against a UK company that provides cobalt for lithium batteries used by Apple, Google... Tesla, among other companies, alleging unsafe working practices, if you can call human slavery unsafe working practices. But this is what Justin Trudeau would rather have than the good paying jobs and high environmental standards in Canada's world class oil patch. Justin Trudeau is actively choosing child slavery over fairly compensated employment, robust human rights and domestic economic growth. But isn't that what all environmentalists do? For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. The push towards unreliable electric vehicles is not only dangerous for Canadians who will be stranded in them, but also for the child workers who produce the rare earth minerals used in the batteries. This is all part of Justin Trudeau's agenda for your life. It's part of the Great Green Reset. To sign our petition against the green oligarchs control over the things you do and how you live, please go to nogreenreset.com.